Hey guys, Mike here from Lunch Money Comics. Today I'm in Manchester, Connecticut at a Heroes Legacy comic book store, which is sadly going out of business at the end of the month. They're having some pretty great deals though leading up to their closing date. Let's go inside and see what we can find. All right, great looking store. 50% off everything, store wide. Wow, all right. Excludes new releases right now. Excludes new releases, good to know. That's a good figure, but I'm interested in this one my little sister. Cool. Some new releases. Oh, all of the back issues. Pretty well organized, it looks like. Get your trade paperbacks. All right. Just so much stuff, guys. So much stuff. Uncanny X Men. The older ones. I gotta check a lot of these against my list here. Right, I think I got a couple here that I was missing. Happy to pick up, even if they're duplicates. These are all ten dollars. Be slightly better. Could be. Five bucks, it's not bad. There's actually a lot of good stuff in these boxes at half price. But you just gotta search. Great John Bone cover. French version of that. From another batch of X Men. So I gotta go through all of these X-Men. That's a good one. Man, I haven't even looked down here yet. Cool. Forty, forty-one. Okay, definitely got some loot. Wow, what a great store. It's always sad to see comic book stores close. I think we all know how hard they are to run, as is true of all small businesses. And it's always sad when they close their doors, but at least it sounds in this case like it's for good reasons. Uh, but obviously they were having a sale on everything. And as a matter of fact, all the comic books I got, they were a dollar a piece. 
I can never say no to dollar bin hunting, guys. Uh, plus, I got a pretty great statue as a present for my little sister. So uh, let's go home and I'll show you everything that I found. So there you go. That was a Heroes Legacy Comics and Collectibles in Manchester, Connecticut, just east of Hartford. And there were a couple of reasons why I was there. First, I had just left CliffsCon in Plainville, Connecticut. I talked about that experience in my last video. And uh, I knew this place wasn't that far away. It was lunchtime and I was starving, but I always have time for a lunch money lunch break. Uh, I'd heard about them closing online. A lot of people told me about it on social media. I figured while I was in Connecticut, I'd shoot on over there and see if I could find some good stuff. But the other reason I was there is while I was at CliffCon, a lot of people were talking about this store, including a guy who actually uh, works there sometimes, uh, incidentally, another vendor named Cliff. And uh, he was telling me they've been really trying to draw more attention to the store to try to sell as much of that inventory as possible before they closed in a few weeks. And I told them it was the least I could do is go and try to draw some more attention to it. Like I said, guys, it's always sad when these stores close, but the least we can do is go and try to buy up as much of that inventory as possible. It helps them close up it gets them some extra money. And of course, we can get some pretty great deals. So great deals indeed. I got everything in the store was 50% off except for new uh, issues and uh, supplies. Um, but even besides the 50% off, any comic books listed at $6 and under were a buck. That's my favorite type of comic book hunting, guys. I love dollar comic books, especially when there's a lot of X-Men. And as you guys saw in the footage, there were a ton. Lots of duplicates. It's great when you can go through and find like uh, copies that are a slightly better condition than the ones you already have. Um, most of the X-Men books I did get on this day, I already do own, but that's totally fine. I had a blast looking at all of them. So I have to give a couple of quick shout outs to some people I met at the store. The first one is Scott, who was working there. When I first went in, I introduced myself and told him what I was trying to do. And he was very amenable to me filming in there and drawing attention to the store. So thank you, Scott. It was also great talking to you. Also, a huge shout out to Amy. While I was looking at some comic books, this young lady, Amy, came in and told me that she was a fan of the channel, uh, which is always incredibly humbling <laughs> when people uh, like the show. Uh, so thank you so much, Amy, for coming over and saying hi. You absolutely made my day. Also, a shout out to Chris. While me and Amy were talking about the channel, this uh, patron named Chris said, what is this Lunch Money Comics you speak of? I explained to him what it was and he looked it up right then and there and subscribed on the spot. So thank you, Chris, for subscribing. I hope you enjoy the content. Before I show you everything I got at A Hero's Legacy, if you like this sort of stuff and you want to support the channel, head on down, like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram under lunchmoneycomics.ig. And of course, if you are in Southern New England or New York or anywhere within driving distance of Manchester, Connecticut, absolutely try to get to a hero's legacy before they close at the end of the month i will put some links down in the description so you can plan your trip there and try to get some good stuff before they close uh, make sure you get there soon because this stuff is going to sell very quickly uh, and hey maybe you might bump into me i plan to go back at least one more time before they close so first i want to go through all these comic books i got for a dollar a piece i got some great deals i want to start with the x-men books i'm still working on my chris claremont x-men run i don't have many comics left uh, most of these X-Men books I already have, but I was able to pick them up in a higher grade. Uh, so let's go through them rather quickly. First, we have Uncanny X-Men number 204, sort of an odd Nightcrawler cover there. Then we have X-Men number 215. Um, this, I think, is the first appearance of these three minor villains you see on the cover, Stonewall, Super Saber, and Crimson Commando. They're not really important, but it's a cool cover with Storm fighting them. Then we have uh, number 231, Awesome Colossus cover. Then we have number 246 uh, with Master Mold right there. This one's actually really interesting. So this is X-Men number 254. Uh, this is notable for a couple of reasons. One, it's a Jim Lee cover. So an early Jim Lee X-Men cover. And also it shows uh, a new version of the team or at least some new members of the team all in matching X-Men uniforms. We have some uh, Banshee. I think this is Sunder. Uh, we have Legion. Uh, I think it's Amanda Sefton. Forge is leading the way. Moira McTaggart and Polaris. So uh, some minor characters uh, that don't appear in X-Men books as often as the bigger ones. Uh, but it's really cool to see them on a main X-Men title like this. Very cool. Uh, this book's great. Um, this is Uncanny X-Men number 281. Now, I want to point out this is not a Chris Claremont book. He was off the title um, as of uh, number 279. So this is a few issues after he left. Um, this is cool for a couple reasons. One, it's the first appearance of Trevor Fitzroy, who is a bad guy. Uh, but more importantly to me, you see a new team is born. This is the first appearance of the gold team. Uh, those of you who follow the X-Men in the early 90s know there was a blue team and a gold team. This is the first uh, appearance of the gold team. Very cool. 
Uh, next up, we have number 284. Um, not much going on here other than this is the second full appearance of Bishop you see right there in the corner. Then we have number 284. Five, uh, which I believe is the first appearance of Mikhail Rasputin, who is the older brother of Colossus and Magic. Uh, and he's a bad guy. So an X-Men villain first appearance. Uh, pretty cool right there. So that's it for the X-Men books. Uh, I have a couple other, though, X-Men sort of uh, adjacent books. And they're all the same. I got this book here. This is X-Force number eight. I've talked about this book many times in the past because this is the first appearance of the character Domino. Now, the character of Domino appears earlier on in the X-Force title and also in New Mutants 98, uh, which is the first appearance of Deadpool, but it's not actually Domino. It's actually a character called Copycat pretending to be Domino. This is actually Domino's first appearance. Uh, and for a buck each, I couldn't just get one. I got three. I know there's some Domino fans out there. She's a pretty cool mutant character and member of X-Force. I love this book. I pick it up whenever I can. A dollar each, absolutely. I also got this book. This is Spirits of Vengeance number one. This is part two of the six part Rise of the Midnight Suns storyline, which introduced us to the superhero team, the Midnight Suns. Uh, they're a bunch of heroes, anti heroes that are affiliated with like uh, the supernatural or the occult. So you have both Ghost Riders, you have Morbius Blade, characters like that. A lot of people are into them. And uh, yeah, this six part series or across many different titles, they all came with a poly bag with a poster like this. Um, and whenever I find them cheap, I try to pick them up. I like putting six book sets together. Uh, you know, maybe I'll put them out for a giveaway or something like that. So a very cool book. Happy to pick that up for a dollar. Uh, and this last one's fantastic. Uh, this is Wolverine number 17, uh, famous John Byrne Wolverine cover. Uh, John Byrne does Wolverine better than anybody, in my opinion. Uh, not just as Wolverine, but also how Logan looks with the mask off. Absolutely love his version of Wolverine. And this comic book here is awesome looking. Uh, he is very savage. The red cover just pops. Fantastic book in great shape. Really happy to pick this up for a dollar. Uh, all told, guys, I got 13 comic books. Uh, 13 bucks. Absolutely. What a great deal. So I have one more thing I got at a Heroes Legacy that isn't a comic book. You saw in the footage, and it is this. This is a PVC diorama by Diamond Select Toys depicting, of course, Jean Grey in her Phoenix costume from X-Men 101, one of my favorite comic books of all time. And as a matter of fact, you see it right there on the back. Now, um, I know uh, collecting superhero dioramas and statues is a big part of our hobby. Um, I don't collect these, although I think they're very cool. The reason I don't collect them is pretty simple. They take up too much room. It's as simple as that. But the reason I got this one is because my little sister is a huge Jean Grey fan. Uh, and I've actually been eyeing this exact sculpt uh, for her as a gift for a long time. It usually goes for $50. That's actually what the price tag on it was. But because everything was 50% off in the store, I got it for 25 bucks, which I think is a great deal. Uh, and it's really good because she lives in Oregon and I got to ship it over there. So it's probably going to cost me close to 50 when it's all said and done. Uh, I got to quickly get this in the mail before she sees this video go out. But still, uh, I definitely wanted to get this for her because uh, both my sisters actually send me fantastic Marvel and DC t-shirts all the time. Um, I wear a lot of them on the channel. I'm always looking to get them some gifts as a thank you. So happy to pick this one up uh, for a really great price. Let me know down in the comments if you are a fan of superhero sculptures. Uh, and if you are, let me know what you think of this one. I think it's a pretty awesome looking one. So there you have it. That was my quick stop at A Hero's Legacy in Manchester, Connecticut. As I said, guys, they will be closing in a matter of weeks when this video comes out at the end of September 2023. Get on over there. They're going to keep getting better and better deals, but that also means a lot of the stuff's going to go quick. Head on over there, get some dollar books. Maybe you can find some other statues and things like that. In the meantime, guys, uh, I hope you keep hunting for comic books in strange and unusual places. Support your local comic book stores. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.